Okay, so percentage increase and decrease. Um, in order to be able to, to increase and want to, in order to be able to decrease, we need to be able to find out the percentage of a quantity using a calculator, using a method that we call the multiplier method. So just as a recap, there we need 28% of 320. A um, couple of really basic steps for this. Our first thing we've got to do is convert percentage to decimal. That's the first thing. And the way we do that is by dividing our percentage by 100. So then I've got 28%, that'd be 0 0.28. Of always means times. So we are going to multiply by the quantity. Now the quantity is the number in the question, which is 320. So do 0 0.28 multiplied by 320. Obviously you use a calculator and then you have 89.6. So that's just a quick recap of how to find the percentage of a quantity using a multiplier method. So using that as a foundation, to build upon that then, we can start have a look at to increase a quantity by a percentage amount. So we're going to increase, let's have 680 by 12%. Okay, so we're increasing 680, uh, could be pounds, could be kilograms, could be anything. Increase 680 by 12%. Now, if we're going to increase, then this means then that the 680 is going to get bigger by 12%. So some of you might be thinking, oh, I could just find 12% and then add it on. Well, you could do that. We could do 0 0.12 multiplied by 680. And that would give us 81.6. Okay, we could do that. And then add it on to the 680. And if we did that, we would have 761.6. Now that is the correct answer. 761.6. However, let's think of a shortcut now. So this here, this 81.6 is 12%. This 680, technically that's 100 percent So this answer, if we've added these together, then that answer is 112% of 680. So what I'm saying is we're looking for 112% of 680. Now, that looks like a similar question to that one there, where we had to convert to percent, uh, percentage to decimal, then multiply it by the quantity. So if I convert this to a decimal by dividing by 100, I have 1.12 of means times 680. Pop that in the calculator, I put 761.6. Now there's nothing wrong with this method. However, using this method, for one it's very quick, very short, using a multiplier method, you've got two marks for that quite easily just by increasing by a percentage. So to write down some tips here then or some steps, the first thing we've done, we've done a hundred percent and then add the percentage in the question. Second step, convert to decimal and then multiply by the quantity. So for percentage increase, you have to add it, add the percentage to 100, 
convert, multiply. And then this green line here would be, that would be your workings. Never just write the answer. Whatever you type into your calculator must be written in as your workings in order to get full marks. So that's increase. Increase is added on. Decrease. Let's decrease 520 by 24%. Okay, so decrease, that means decrease 520 by 24%. So if we find 24% and then take it away, then we'll have a decrease of 24%. So you could find 24% and then take it away. However, increase, we have to add it on to 100%. This one, we're going to subtract because it's decrease. So 100 take away 24 is 76. Let's convert that to a decimal. 0 0.76 multiplied by the quantity. We then have a percentage decrease and we have 395.2. That number is smaller. You can see it's decreased. Of course, as I say, we could have worked out 24% and then taken it away afterwards. But from the increase, we realized we could have added it on at the start, then convert, multiply, decrease, subtract from 100, convert, multiply. So 100%, subtract your percentage, convert to decimal, third step, multiply. Just like that. Couple of things to look out for though. If we were to increase by 4%, a lot of you will be tempted to put 1.4, but that's wrong because 1.4 technically is 40% increase. This is only 4%, that's why we have 100%, add to the 4 to make 104, then convert to decimal, 1.04, and it works every time. Hope that helps.